Welcome back to KG Constrictors, and uh, this is just a quick little update on a few of my uh, gravid female boas. This is Farah, my super salmon, and uh, she just has the flattest look when she is gravid. This is going to be her fifth litter, and it's due around May 2nd or May 3rd. And uh, let's see if I can open this up here. If I open the door on the right, it's going to disrupt her, but you can see how flat she is. She's got major scale separation. Get the focus going there. And she is just flat, 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 flat. She looks like an, like a, like an inner tube that uh, doesn't have enough air in it. She's just got a lot of babies in her. She had 31 last year. And I'm going to predict 40 this year. What's going on with this cage here? Can't open the cage. All right, that's interesting. Okay, see if I can open this without disrupting her. Oh, perfect, I didn't. Good, good, good. You can see how flat she is. Flat. She's just a... Lots of scale separation and just big time flat. So that's Farah. Up above her, we have Athena. And Athena is going to have a, a mixture of normals and codom salmons. She's not really in the best position for looking gravid, but she's gravid. She's just not uh, in the best uh, position for filming her. So, just a quick little video on Farah. She um, is going to uh, have a litter on May 2nd or May 3rd. And she was bred by a probable super male. So I'm expecting some really, really clean, reduced pattern uh, possible supers because he's not a proven super. Um, all the babies are going to have to be sold as possibles. If he was a proven super, of course, they would all be supers. So, just decided to do a quick little uh, video on her. So you can get a really good look at uh, at her gravidness. And she uh, she just really flattens out big time when she uh, when she has babies. So there's never any doubt that she's holding babies when she uh, when she's pregnant. Beautiful super salmon. She's an 03. I can't believe she's an 03. She's going to be seven years old. She was born, I think it was July of 03. Wow. Hard to believe she's going to be that old. Is that right? Yeah, seven years old. So, um, I'm going to give her a year off. I'm not going to breed her this fall. Give her, uh, give her a year off to really build her body up and, uh, and have some fun. I want to take her out and handle her and, uh, Seems like every year in the summertime she's building her body back. In the fall she's breeding. In the winter and the spring she's pregnant. So she's never able to just be a pet snake. And uh, I really want to uh, get that relationship back with her again. So she has more than earned her keep as a breeder and a wonderful, uh, wonderful pet. So I'm going to. Uh, do that for her. Her cage is really dirty. I'm going to probably uh, do half the cage here today, replace half the uh, cage paper. And then when she moves over to the cooler side, uh, I'll replace the other half. But she's got some urates and a lot of mess in there, which is typical about you know this time of the year. Their cages are pretty messy. So, but. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video of her, so she is a little over a month away from having her babies. She is usually right on target. She'll have them 100 days post-ov uh, ovulation shed or 101 post-ov shed. This year she didn't have a shed. 
uh, but I did catch her ovulation. So uh, same thing happened in 08. She did not have a shed, and I was able to predict her uh, her babies. I was one day off. She had them on day 101. So she usually averages uh, 101. It's either day 100 or day 101 with her, and I believe the last three litters have all been day 101. So we're looking at May 2nd, May 3rd. And I will be right here videoing the birth. So thanks again for checking in. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to do a few more today. All right, we'll see ya.